Eastern Conference, the NBA playoffs. The Cavaliers enter a new domain where the regular season fades away and the immediate challenge comes into focus as they try to take the upper hand against Charlotte. Round one, game one, the NBA playoffs coming up next. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the final game of the regular season that we will be simulating. We'll hop into the first game of the playoffs. But as you know, we won a critical game in Boston to try and keep us at the six seed, which we are. And now it's up to find out if the um, Philadelphia 76ers lost. Because if they won, we would have to win this game to clinch the six seed. So let's look at the playoff picture and see how it's looking. And we are at the six seed still. The six seed ended up losing. So it doesn't say we clinched, but I'm 99% sure we clinched because we not only have the tiebreaker over the six, we beat them in all three games, but we have the better conference record and better division record. So we have clinched the six seed. We are not going to be in the playing tournament this season, which is a huge surprise to me. That trade for DeAndre Ayton, I think, got us into the playoffs. I don't think we're in the play-in possibly without that trade. If we are with a nine or ten seed, uh, the Hawks have clinched the um, second seed. The Cavs do not own the tiebreaker over them. And the Cavs have clinched the third seed uh, due to the Celtics, I believe, losing their last game. Uh, so, yeah, so the playing tournament will be Philly versus Detroit for the first round. And Toronto has also clinched, but they have not clinched the 10th seed. I'm not sure what this tiebreaker looks like. Uh, this is for home court, basically. That's all it is. But I'm not sure if Toronto has clinched that 10th seed yet. But that will be it for the East and for the West. Portland and Dallas. Portland owns a um, tiebreaker over Dallas. So Portland needs a win and a Dallas loss to jump back up to the one seed. Or, actually there is no or, because if Dallas wins, they're going to be the one seed. So Dallas controls their own destiny there. Uh, the Grizzlies and the Clippers are tied. Grizzlies obviously own the tiebreaker over that. So they win, they get the third seed. The Nuggets are a game ahead of the Warriors and Kings, but they're only a game back of the Clippers. I Once again, I don't know who owns that tiebreaker. I'm assuming possibly the Clippers, uh, but that most likely would just be for home court advantage. And the Warriors, Kings are tied. So to get out of the play in the Warriors, they win. They're in as the sixth seed or could possibly move up to five. And the Kings are just praying. Oh my God, I backed out. The Kings are really hoping... For a Warriors loss here so they can move out of the play and the same thing here with the Thunder and the Pelicans both tied Thunder on the tiebreaker they want to keep that eight seed so they don't have to go through two series they want that seven seed I'd hope and the Lakers have been eliminated the Suns are the 10th seed I believe they're gonna stay there so that is what the playoff picture is looking like so let's simulate the last game we do take an L which is fine Luka is your MVP Cedric Lewis is the rookie of the year, 24 points, 8 rebounds, 6.6 .6 assists, and 2.3 steals, shooting 49% from the field, 87 from the free throw line, and near 40% from three. Russell Westbrook is your sixth man of the year, back in OKC, 15 points, 7.5 rebounds, 6 assists on very good shooting splits. Joel Embiid is your defensive player of the year, averaging a steal and 2.3 blocks. Cole Anthony wins your most improved, averaging 18 points going up from 13 uh, back as the starter. And Eric Spolstra of the Miami Heat is your coach of the year. Here is the All-NBA first team, All-NBA second team. And Cedric Lewis as a rookie makes the All-NBA third team. You'll love to see it. All-defensive first team. Also seeing Cedric Lewis there, I'd hope so, with 2.3 steals a game. Uh, Lonzo Ball also there. Uh, Luka, for some reason, always makes an All-NBA. I mean, All-Defensive team. Uh, Claxton there and Tatum there. Obviously, All-Rookie first team is going to be Cedric Lewis. And we get no other teammates here. And here is what the playoffs are looking like. Kings stay at 7. OKC stay at 8. The Suns actually moved up to 9. So they will be hosting the Pelicans. The Mavericks ended up keeping that first seed over the Blazers. Clippers move up to 4. And they actually move down to four. And the Warriors move all the way up to five or they have five. Simulate play in. The Kings make it out as the eighth seed. So they lost their first game, I believe, to OKC, who makes it as the seventh seed. But they just swap spots as they both make the playoffs. Detroit takes out 
Actually, no, I'm sorry. Sixers take out Detroit in the first playing game, and then Detroit takes out, I'm assuming, Toronto. All right, here's what the lineup's going to look like going into game one. Uh, LaMelo Ball will be, obviously, the point guard. I don't know why I'm going over this. We move Yuta to the small forward. I want to keep him in the lineup for shooting-wise. Even though he's been struggling, I prefer him there over Kenrich Williams uh, starting because we're going up against Isaac Okoro at small forward. I'm not worried about him offensively. Aiton's going to slide to the power forward so he can guard Evan Mobley. And Nick Richards is going to stay at the center against Jared Allen because I believe Mobley is going to be more of a offensive threat than Allen. With that said, this long-ass intro is over. Let's hop into game one of this Eastern Conference first round. Cavs, Hornets, let's get it. Here we are, Cleveland, Ohio, game one of this Eastern Conference, three seed versus six seed, 45 win Hornets, I think that said 52 win Cleveland Cavaliers, this one should be fantastic, Alley of Force, I don't care, I had the Warriors Kings game on in the background, so if you see me looking over there, that is why, alrighty, let's get it going, Garden Donovan Mitchell, going to be a very tough matchup, I don't think, we did not play the Cavaliers at all this season on video, and I don't think I played them by myself. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to have to go and switch to a quarter. That was a great defensive possession for Cedric, but Jared Allen gets the rebound, and he was going to get it there, too. He completely went by Nick Richards. Bad box out from Nick Richards to start off. Not what we want to see. This is what we want to see. All right, I will take Garland on me. I'm going to have to take advantage of these uh, defensive mass matchups. I'm going to have to kick that out. Not what I wanted there. They're going to have Yuta go to the corner. Oh, LaMelo with the three to start off. Another thing I forgot to, I forgot to upgrade Cedric Lewis. So I'll probably just do that after on my own time because it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, Donovan almost got the steal there. If I knew he was going to go for the steal, I would have drove to the paint. And that's green. Oh, that's got to be a three, right? That is Cedric Lewis from downtown extends the lead to seven. And the Cavaliers are going to call their first timeout. Off to a great start here. Let's hope we can keep it going. Another one. Bang! Another three for Cedric Lewis. They're just leaving me open for three. Extend the lead to eight now. Uh, Cavs have been struggling shooting the ball, really. All right, I'm going to sub that for the first time. Cavs. Cut it to four points, but I'm confident with the lineup we have in the game. Uh, wow, we're up by 15. All righty then, I will take it. And if we do end up blowing out the Cavs in game one, I will make uh, more slider changes. Aiton from the mid-range. It's good. DeAndre Aiton from the Cavs logo. Not the middle logo. All right, I'm going to sub down. And I'm currently, I believe, four for 14 shooting from the field. Just being in stuck in animations and just bad shots, but we're still up by 19, even though I am struggling. Donovan Mitchell is still sh um shot make lit, and it, why would you, why would I what 2K, bro? You are joking. Yeah, I'm not shooting well. Let's be honest here, 36%. But we're up by 25. I think we're up by 25 mainly because of our free throws, because they popped up the uh, shooting splits. And we're both shooting, like, high to mid 30%. Nearing the end of third quarter. 17-point lead here. You love to see it. We're going to have DeAndre Aiden come set the screen here. It's either going to be... Actually, could be a few things. A lob is not one of them that I thought would happen. One of the few things I do with Cedric Lewis is throw lobs. And they're going to throw it up court. Give it up to Aiden. Last second for three. He didn't get it off in time. It doesn't matter. It missed. 25-point lead, heading into the fourth quarter. You'll love to see it. All right, getting subbed out to start the fourth, like usual. They had the scrubs in the game, which is actually a good thing to see since we have such a big lead. They brought us back in anyways. Uh, we're up by 17. I feel like that should have went in. I was not 9 per I was not 9% covered there. No way I was 2K. You're How is that 9% covered? That he, I am wide open. I pump fake. Now I decide to take it. Look where John Wall is. That's not contested, bro. That's not contested. I don't care. That's another slider I'm about to finick with. Oh, no. Please tell me that goes in. Oh, my goodness. What a shot from Cedric Lewis fading off balance three to end the Cleveland Cavaliers run. That was insane. I don't know what kind of run they were on. But, man, they were clawing back, and they've made this a game 
But what a shot from Lewis who could not find the basket all night. Garland is going to come back with one. Oh, dagger. I didn't think I... There's no... that If I missed that, I would have knew. That's fine. But what a dagger from Cedric Lewis. Hits another three. And that is going to do it. Oh, uh, the Cavs just waved the white flag. They brought in the bench mob as Alexander Walker knocks down a three. But yeah, I don't know why we never do. I had the lineups to do it, to bring in the bench. But they just never do it. But that's going to be it. I'm just going to run out this clock as much as possible. Don't let the stat line fool you. I had a bad game. I shot miserable from the field. And I don't know how I shot from three, but I know it wasn't good. Aiton with the bucket just to seal it for a good measure. You never know. They might have hit a 20-point shot. It might happen. But I expect them to dribble it out. Maybe not because, you know, the CPU can be a little bit savage there. Yeah, John Wall is going to dribble it out. And we are going to take game one by 22 points due to the free throws and the awful showing from the Cavaliers' backcourt. Final stats on the game. Donovan Mitchell had 18 points on 7 for 25 shooting, 4 for 18 from downtown. Not not enough. Not enough. Awful sh um, showing from a bona fide playoff performer. Jared Allen had a pretty good game. 14 and 10, two steals. And I have a block, but shot 7 for 9. John Wall, great game off the bench. Wasted, though. Evan Mobley, 13, 12, and 3 blocks. Garland had 11 points, but he also shot poorly. 3 for 14, 1 for 5. Just not enough to get you the win for the Charlotte Hornets. Cedric Lewis, 37 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, and 2 steals. Only 2 turnovers. Shot very, very poor from the field. Second half shot pretty well. It was just that first half. 4 for 14, man. It's not good enough. Not good enough. A lot of bogus animation, bogus shots, but some a lot of those were some blocks. Uh, 5 for 12 from 3. Not as bad as I thought, but right here. LaMelo and I combined attempted 21 free throws and made 20 of them. That that uh, that is 20 points, which we won by, I believe, 22, that the Cavs just gave us. That is the reason why they lost. LaMelo had 25 and 9. He only attempted 9 shots and had 20 points. That's enough right there. Aiton with the monster game, 18 points, 16 rebounds. Rogier had 13 off the bench. And Nick Richards, probably the story of this game. 12.9 rebounds, but 5 blocks. Was not expected of Richards. Uh, Eddie, six points. Why is he attempting threes? I don't know. I will fix his tendencies. You would have had a poor outing. And Grant, two points. This man is getting traded in the offseason. But with that being said, let's check the free throws real quick. We shot 31 free throws. They shot four. Four free throws were shot by the Cavaliers. That's going to be for me. GG.